Hi, it's JJ from Team Yolo. Today we'll be, be doing two paintball gear bags. The first one will be of me and the second one will be of Lars. So let's get started. And also we're doing some tips in it too. But whatever we do in our paintball game bag and we will explain just the uh, some usual stuff um, that isn't really paintball equipment. We'll explain why. So let's start. So this is the JT mask. It's good, you can, um, the lenses are just kind of hard to clean, but that's going to be it. It's adjustable, you can take, you can pop the visors in there and buy different ones, and the visor comes on and off if you, like, don't want it in. Um, I have my Guardian CO2, a CO2 tank, it's, uh, 12 ounce, um, this is really good. And then I keep hats in here because for the back of your head, if you put this, it kind of protects like your neck. I'm gonna get in the back of your head, so if you get hit there, it doesn't hurt as much as it would because it's it's kind of like it's not like right here it's hard. Um, here it's like you know, but it's still kind of hard. I don't really feel it. Um, next, I have my Empire Hopper. It's uh, it's good for beginners and it costs like 20 bucks. And if you're not looking for like non GM, like electrical stuff like that, that's just good, I guess. Um, I have my Spider Victor uh, barrel. It's a nine inch, it's good because it's not ring. Um, get, um, yeah. Here. It's a good marker um, for beginner speedball players. The other thing is that if you if you don't really like the crease and you don't like the macro line, you're looking to spend about $100 more um, on the Phoenix. Um, this Phoenix is a good marker. If you don't like the crease line and the macro line, or uh, uh, crease, crease trigger, I mean. And well, it's, I have two of them. Uh, Gen X, one, this one's camouflaged, the other one's red. I just don't have the red one with me, and nor my quad pack. Um, I have my, well, I have my Empire. Preville jersey. It's good because it has padding right here, and then right here you don't really need padding because if you have like a pod pack. Um, it's good though. Um, if you wear this, I wear like um, long johns, so that's good. And then you want to wear like a heavy sweater and then this on top, that's good. Um, and then, yeah, so I wear long johns because they give you a bit more protection um in the in like the winter long john pants are good especially under adidas track pants they're really good but in the summer just wear knee pads and compression shorts that would be good and i wear long socks because if you get hit right there it just gives you a bit more protection there than ankle socks you get hit right on like the Skin if you're wearing just shorts and like that, it's just yeah. And then I actually have gloves. I use these for BMXing and skateboarding too. Um, they're really good. They're actually Tony Hawk skateboarding ones, but they're really good because you put them on. It's really good because if you're playing and you get hit there, you don't feel a thing. It might feel like a little thing, but that's it. I was throwing the lawn and I got hit there like the first match. And I always keep my manual with me. You never know when it can break down. That would suck. You don't want to have to leave the field for the day. And I also keep my goggle and lens 
with me, just in case about the field, I wanted to, if they have a pro shop and I wanted to buy um, a different lens or something. And your parts kit next. Uh, this is my Bureau Squeegee. It's uh, better than the fluffy ones because it cleans up better, but it takes longer. The fluffy ones, like the one in the result, one in the next video. That one doesn't clean as well, but it takes a short amount of time. But you do it work right there on the field with the shop. You can see your shot once you get out, unless you're playing with the zombies or prison or something like that. So, anyways, um, next I have my barrel sock. This is the one with the the gun, but people don't really like you using this because people don't put them in properly. So, like, that's actually kind of hard to do it. So, like, the facts in the shooter will just come pop and go in the paper of the car. So, yeah. And then I have my umpire one. This one's actually really good. I like it. Um, but there's no point in buying the HK Army. $20 one, and this one's perfectly fine. Yeah, so, oh, wait. And my lube, I always carry my lube with me because you never will know if you, something goes wrong with your gun, um, or if you get shot in, like, the back of, um, where the bullet is and stuff, you would want to clean it right there because you have all the stuff, you have your part to get, like, a five minute clean. Um, so yeah, just always keep it with you. Um, so yeah, that's the end of my gear bag. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. You remember, you only live once. Hi guys, it's Lars from um, Team YOLO. And yeah, I'm going to be showing you my 2016 paintball gear bag. So let's get started. So first, I have a jock because you don't want to get hit in that area so then I have um a undershirt um long john undershirt and um uh, it's good for when you're out in the cold because when it goes over my shirt and then my jersey when it goes over my shirt this then my jersey it keeps you warm um plenty clips elbow pads they got really good protection yeah they have protection even here so that's good um knee pads empire neon skin knee pads pretty good good for sliding also these are good for sliding too so, my pod pack, it's an Empire pod pack, but right now I have pot, um, paintballs in my pods. I have three pods in it right now. I have, I have an extra one. Yeah, there's that. Um, now let's go. I have a hat. Um, I've been shot there. And, um, yeah, you can see the mark right there. It didn't really hurt that much because I was wearing that. It actually protects you. Um, so, I have the die rotor with an exalt speed feed on it. Pretty good. The speed feed's really good. Um, I have my Empire tank on, in service right now. So, I have my Guardian 2000. It's pretty good. It can um, do a lot of shots. Um, screwdriver. Don't know why. Um, my marker. I keep it in a laptop case because my frame can fit in there. I got the Empire Man DS. Easy to walk. Um, 12 inch barrel. There we go. Um, so I got my mask, got a lens for it, and a top for it. I have the V-Force grills. They're really good. Um, yeah. 
I would recommend them. Now, I got Empire Pants. Empire Pants. They're good. They're good for sliding. They're actually great for sliding. Then, for some reason, my Allen keys do it doing in there. Um, my Empire Pavio jersey. It's got nice padding. It's the olive cover, color, but right now you'll probably see it as brown. Instead of green. And then, yeah, I have my um, Balkan jersey. Um, good for when you're playing woods ball. It's got some padding here. I don't think it's as good as as good as my Empire one, but it's good for when you're in the winter with it. So I have a my V4 Scrolls manual, my guy rotor manual, my, my loop. My Empire Range GS manual. My Empire Range GS parts kit. A Phillips said screwdriver for my um, hopper. A lock for my bag and a nine volt battery. Um, also in my parts kit. Uh, it's a good parts kit. Um, I keep batteries in there for my hopper and a uh, 9 volt. Two 9 volts. I keep one inside there and one just in my bag. Okay, I'm done. Um, let's throw this here. Uh, got the Exalt Barrel Made. It's good. Um, it's good because you can do it on the field. Yeah. Um then the last three things are my barrel covers. Barrel covers. Um Empire Empire and Battle Tested. So yeah. Well that's my gear bag.